All right, yo, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, let me start off by saying uh, all praises and glory go unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kadash. Double honors on to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. Also, shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to all the sincere brothers that's out there that push this word with truth and with faith. All right, my name is Tavwa Amath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, man, you gotta, you gotta give thanks on to the Heavenly Father, man. You know, I mean, for the the blessings that He actually bestowed upon us is is innumerable, you know. And I'm just speaking about things that you might encounter um, every single day, man. You know, the fact that you're able to draw breath at this very moment is enough reason to give thanks to the Heavenly Father. Now, uh, me personally, um, in every single prayer that I pray to the Heavenly Father, you know, it's, it's I'm, I'm constantly giving thanks, you know, begging for mercy, begging for salvation, begging for um, endurance, praying that the brothers is, is, is all right and they can maintain, you know. Praying for more wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and praying to increase my faith. All right. But with every single, you know, that I mean, those are the main things I pray for. Um, but with every single prayer, I'm constantly giving thanks to the Heavenly Father, man, because you cannot take this truth for granted. And we have our examples already here in the flesh of guys that have taken this truth uh, for granted. And, um, you know, the Most High. He did what he he needed to do, and now those guys are uh, completely bugged out, or they've been uh, casted out, you know, or a combination of the both, you know, which is a um, a terrible situation to find yourself in, man. But some guys get a little too big for their britches. You need to be giving thanks to the Heavenly Father, because it's not, it's not as if you came up with this great knowledge all on your own, man, you know? It was the Most High who gave the increase, as Paul says. Right. And then you also got to give that reverence to the men that actually taught you here upon the earth of these scriptures, man, which is the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. Those are the men that Yahweh Shai have set up to do his, uh, you know, to push his word. OK, all in the will of the Heavenly Father. But I don't want to get off topic. I want to speak about giving thanks. And uh, I started. I was looking at uh, the scripture of the day, all right, and the scripture of the day, uh, the scripture came up as Psalms chapter 118, and it was uh, the first verse, I believe, maybe the first and the second verse, which I read the whole chapter, you know, but Psalms chapter 118, verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. And that's that's a very uh, heavy thing, man. OK, because Israel should say that his mercy endureth forever, man. All right. The, the fact that there is an elect remnant that is set up by the Heavenly Father as a precautionary measure uh, uh, to ensure that all of Israel don't get wiped out. That's 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 mercy, man. All right. And that's plenty of reason. All in itself to be given thanks unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. You you should be giving up those the honor and the glory where the honor and the glory is due. You know, and you got a lot of people out there who think that the honor and the glory belongeth unto them when the scriptures tell you that we are nothing but earth and ashes with no reason to be proud. You know? We have no reason to be puffed up. We've all sinned, man. I know me, myself, I've sinned. I know I've sinned, you know? And I acknowledge that, all right? I confess that, you know? In hopes that with the 180 that I've made in, in the, the path that I'm now walking, hoping that it's going to be enough when, when the days get tough, man. All right? And I'm not trying to rhyme on purpose. You know, I just noticed that that rhymed, though. But Lord willing, hopefully... Uh, it's enough, man. You know, hopefully the sacrifice that I'm giving up right now is enough. You got people that don't want to give up any type of sacrifice. You know, they don't want to give up anything, man. And that might be a lesson that I need to do here in, um, here shortly, you know, 
uh, speaking about what, what the sacrifice is, man. Speaking about what you're willing to give up. Because ultimately, you got to give up everything, man. You know? You got to give up everything. All right? Because this life, this life, you should be willing to sacrifice everything you have in this life in order to gain life. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to do a, a separate lesson on that, man. Okay? Hey, don't lose the point. You got to be giving thanks to the Heavenly Father. Matter of fact, let's jump to another uh, scripture here in Psalms. Because King David spoke about giving thanks to the Heavenly Father constantly, man. There's plenty of Psalm scriptures. There's plenty of them that you can pull. One of them being Psalms chapter 9, verse 1, which says, um, it says, I will praise thee, O Yahweh, with my whole heart. Now, the word praise means uh uh giving reverence or giving thanks to you know what i'm saying giving reverence and thanks praising you know complimenting matter of fact we're gonna look up that word man let's go to the blue letter so like yeah let's go to the blue letter and let's look it up man you know because this is something this is something you should never falter on with everything you should be giving uh, uh praises to the heavenly father man you know I know the main thing that be crossing my mind at random spots, random parts of the day, uh, be Barakatha Yal Bashim Yal Shai and also the water Yal Bashim Yal Shai. Those, those cross my mind constantly, man. From the moment I wake up to the moment I, I go to sleep, that crosses my mind all the time, like multiple times during the day, you know. That small, because that's enough. That's a little prayer. That's enough, man. And it, it tells you as, as far as praising the Most High, you can never go enough. You can never go enough. Why am I in Proverbs? I need to be in Psalms. So, okay. Um, what is it? Psalms chapter, chapter 1. I'm sorry. Chapter 9, verse 1. All right. Because we're going to look up this word praise. Okay. We're going to look up the word praise. I will praise. I will praise thee. Yada. Okay. The... That's not the word we're looking for. That is not the word. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yada. Okay. The Strong's uh, 3034, which we probably could look up this root word. Um, But the definition, Yada, right? Which says, which says uh, to hand, to throw uh, at or away, to revere or worship. Um, praise, uh, shoot, thank. All right. So we got to be giving those thanks to the heavenly father, man. That's the whole thing about counting your blessings is that you're realizing everything that the most high has done for you. The fact that the most high didn't have you born all kind of jacked up from the sins of your past life is reason enough to be constantly giving thanks to the heavenly father, man. Let's look up this root word. Um, in Strong's 30, 27, which is Yad, okay, which is the word for hand, all right? It says a hand, um, uh, yeah, this wasn't what I thought it was going to come up to. Yad means hand in the Hebrew, but anyway, um, so praise, it goes back to giving thanks to the Heavenly Father, man, all right? I'm going to pull up my other app. I like the other app for uh, flipping through the scriptures because this also have the Apocrypha in it, this app. So I get, I get used to going into it to read. Anyway, um, it says, it says, I will praise thee, O Yahweh, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy my marvelous works. All right. And how do you show forth all the marvelous works of the Most High? It's by, you know, again, giving that praise. All right, giving those thanks that the what the Most High have done, all the marvelous works He has done in you alone. All right, it says, "I will be glad and rejoice in Thee. I will sing praise to Thy name, O Thou Most High." All right, so you need to know the name. That's a cut, man. You need to know the name of the Heavenly Father. All right, we had a guy that came up to camp this past week, speaking about um, just another one of those dudes. Saying that the name doesn't matter, man. Saying that the 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 image of Yahweh Shai, the way Yahweh Shai actually looked, doesn't matter. When all of that does matter, man. All right. To ensure that you're speaking about the same power, all of that actually matters. Okay. So you need to know the name of the heavenly Father. You need to know the name of His Son. And those names, I believe, in all faith, 
that the name of the Most High Power is Yahweh, the name of His beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, is Yahweh Shai. All right, I f I fully believe that. I wholeheartedly uh, believe that, man. I put all my faith behind those names, the name of Yahweh and the name of Yahweh Shai. All right, in that rests my entire the entirety of my faith, man. Okay, is in those names. Those are the names that I call upon. Those are the names I call upon to get me out of sticky situations, man. All right. When, you, when I'm laying there at night with what Esau calls sleep paralysis. All right. I call in the names of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I call in the names of Yahweh, uh, Wah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And that, that's what frees me and, and gets that demon off of me to where I'm able to move about. All right. Because I believe in those names. I full fully believe in those names man when i'm faced with the enemy i'm facing some type of situation i call upon those names all right i believe in those names anyway moving on all right uh let's get philippians chapter four real real quick philippians flip with me <laughs> as the pastor would say flip with me to philippians the fourth chapter uh verse six starting at verse six it says be careful for nothing do i want to Start up. I'm going to start at verse 4. It said, Philippians 4 and 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto the Most High. All right. So with everything, with everything, and by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, are you to be uh, letting your requests be known to the Most High, man? All right? It says, And the peace of the Most High, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. All right? So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Read on. It says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if it be any virtue and if it be any praise, think on these things, man. All right. So that's where your mind is supposed to be uh, concentrated in. All right. And also in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, are you supposed to be uh, making those requests known, making uh, um, everything known unto the heavenly Father, man. All right. When you're sending up your praises, when you're sending, when you're praying for uh, whatever, whatever thing, um, you know, you need to call upon the Lord for. All right. Even if it's just to curse this dude, man. Even if it's just to put a curse on this guy that's bugging this demon, this enemy that's that's up against you, you know. Whether it be Esau, whether it be a heathen, or whether it be uh, a two third. You're supposed to be doing it with thanksgiving, man. All right? You're supposed to be doing it with thanksgiving. You're always supposed to be giving thanks to the Heavenly Father. All right? And you can never go far enough, as the scriptures say. You can never go far enough. All right? Let's get another scripture. Let's get Colossians chapter 3. Um, Colossians, the third chapter, verse 16. It says, "Let the word of the uh, let the word of Yahweh Shai dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do it in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Him." All right. Giving thanks to the Most High and the Father, the same, by by Yahweh Shai. All right, that's why we say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's why we constantly say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It's because it needs to be in the name of Yahweh Shai, man. That's our avenue to get to the Heavenly Father. Without going through Yahweh Shai, you cannot get to the Heavenly Father, man. All right. So you need to be given. You need to be given the thanks and the praises. And Yahweh Shai deserves uh, a lot of thanks as well, man. All right, you can't forget that either. You can't leave that out either, man. For the great sacrifice that Yahweh Shai has done, the great, the great miracle work, miraculous work that Yahweh Shai has done for us, man. All right, Lord willing, we be men of the elect. You know, Him taking that L, so we can gain the W. Hey, that that's that's no small feat, man. All right, that's no small that's no small accomplishment. You know, 
for that he's going to receive he's going to receive glory uh glory you know beyond beyond measure man all right he's going to be sitting at the very top of the pinnacle with only the most high above him and everything else underneath him man all right and Yahweh Shai so so generous he's going to share that with the elect he's going to he's going to let them be joint heirs with him all right in his kingdom the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of Yahweh Shai all right you need to be it man if you're not thankful for that you're not you're not worth this truth, man. If you're not thankful for the for the blessings and the things that the Most High has given for this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, even to be able to understand these scriptures, if you're not thankful for that, then you're not worthy of this truth, man. And a lot of you, a lot of people out there, man, that's calling themselves Israelites, they're not showing thanks, all right, and that's evident in their actions, that's evident in the ways that they carry themselves, man, all right. If they're if you're going about deceiving the people. All for your own personal gain, then you're not worthy of this truth, man, because you're not really giving the thanks where the thanks is due, you know. And this is all being documented. The Most High knows all. Yahweh Shai knows all. All right. They're they're very aware of what's going on in the hearts of everybody, man. So everybody's going to get their reward, you know. If they if they do evil, they'll have an evil reward, and if they do good, they'll have a good reward, man, as the scriptures say. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, let's go back and grab another one in Psalms. All right. There's plenty in Psalms. You can go to Psalms chapter 107. Matter of fact, let me grab Psalms chapter 7 verse 17. All right. It says, I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness. And I will sing praise to the name of the Lord most high. All right. So that praise again, given, given thanks. All right. And you're supposed to sing praise. That's what the, that's what Psalms are. All right. That's what the book of Psalms are is it was songs. All right. You can you can have your own little melody going on in your head, man. You know, some brothers are, are talented with music and they actually make music where they're praising the most high. You know, anytime we go out there on the highways and the byways out there in front of the people, what are we doing? We're actually giving praise. We're singing unto the most high, man. That's why it says we're, we're piping that lovely song, man. You know, anytime we're preaching this word, that's actually a song uh, singing praise to the Heavenly Father, man. That's why everybody in Great Millstone, when we open up any video or any camp session, any live stream, you know, uh, uh, any of the sort, when we begin to start teaching, we always uh, tell whoever the audience is that the praise and the glory goes on to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Kodash. All right. We say that each and every time. The reason being is because we don't we're not trying to take this glory. We're not trying to take the praise onto ourselves. We're passing it up to where it belongs, man, because uh, hey, hey, we we've done nothing. We've done nothing. You know, we don't deserve any type of praise or glory. You know who does, though? You how about some y'all shy? So that's who's going to get it, man. All right. The honor is going to go into the the uh, double honors. Actually, is going to go to onto the apostles and the elders because they've been laboring in this truth year in and year out. All right. And they're constantly and continually feeding the flock, man. All right. They're not being selfish and sitting on it saying, OK, I know I know what I'm supposed to do. So I'm just going to do it. You know, they're not in that selfish type of uh, of mindset, man. They're freely giving as they've received freely. All right. As it was taught onto them freely. They're freely giving that back out, man. They want to share. They want to share the wealth rather than uh, hold it to themselves. All right. Because that's a greedy mindset. If you know this truth and you're going to let everybody else, you're going to let everybody else just be flapping in the wind, you know, because you, you got you got the weight to hold yourself down, uh, you know, on the ground. Hey, hey, hey that's a that's a that's a, a selfish mindset, man. That's a selfish and a greedy mindset. That's not what the most High is looking for, man. All right. That's 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 hey that's some Edomite type stuff, man. All right, that's how Esau gets down. Hold all the wealth to themselves rather than uh, uh freely sharing it to for the for the betterment of all the people, man. All right, and I'm not speaking about all the people because we can we can care less about you heathens, man. All right, we're speaking about the Israelites. More importantly, we're speaking about the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, which is Israelites is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Whether you whether you know it. And whether you believe it or not, that's what it is. Let me jump to Psalms chapter 107 real quick, man. Um, 107, 107, where are we at? 107 and uh, we'll start at verse 8. 
It says, Oh, that man, oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. All right. And that's what we do when we go out there on those highways and the byways, man. And like I said, we do it freely because we received it freely, man. All right. So we, we, we're, we're praising the Most High for his goodness and for the wonderful, wonderful works. And we're doing that to the children of men. For, his satis uh, for he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. So if somebody's, somebody's hungry for this word, if they're looking for this word, actively looking for this word, hey, they're going to receive all, all that they can handle here at, at uh, um, the group that's called Great Millstone. All right, because brothers are constantly, continually pumping out videos, man. Constantly and continually uh, pumping out videos, pumping out, get, hey, meals, free meals, man. Free meals for everybody. All you got to do is come and eat. Come and eat, come and eat, come and eat. Like Yahweh Shai when he was dividing the fish and dividing the bread for the multitudes of thousands, right? To where they was able to leave with basketfuls, you know? He, hey, he was, whoever whoever was there, whoever wanted some of that food, they was able to come and get it. So it's the same situation, man. All right. Whoever wants this truth, they can come and get it. And brothers is giving it out gladly. All right. We don't care if it's hot outside. We don't care if it's cold outside. We don't care if it's if it's pissing rain. All right. We don't care if it's if it's snowing. All right. We don't we don't care what the situation is, man. You know. We're gonna go. We're gonna go, and we're gonna feed this flock, man, because that's what we was commanded to do. When Yahweh Shai was speaking to Simon Peter, what he tell him? Hey, if you love me, then feed my flock. We're trying to prove to Yahweh Shai that look, we indeed do love you. All right, Lord, we love you, Lord. We 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 want to follow after you. We want to follow after you. We want you to be able to guide us, man. We want you to care about us rather than not care about us. So we're gonna we're gonna thank you for what you are doing. And we're going to follow your word to the T, to the very best of our ability, you know, because that's what that's that's what it takes, man. All right. It says the most high satisfy the longing soul and fill the hungry soul with goodness. And the goodness is this truth, you know, and that's that's for that. That's worthy of praise and of thanks, man. That's worthy of thanksgiving and praise. OK. Uh, let's jump back to first. Well, actually, we didn't even go to first Corinthians. Let's go to first Corinthians. Let's go to first Corinthians chapter, the first chapter. All right. Uh, first Corinthians chapter one, verse four. I thank my power always on your behalf for the grace of the most high, which is given you by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So we, the only reason we have grace is because of Yahweh Shai, man. So Yahweh Shai is worthy of, of praise and thanks as well. Okay. That in everything you are enriched by him, by who? By Yahweh Shai, in all utterance and in all knowledge. So the reason we even have this is all due to Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, man. All right? Which is worthy of thanks, which is worthy of praise. All right? The Most High allowing Yahweh Shai, given, given that loophole for Yahweh Shai to be able to take up that mantle, that all Israel uh, don't be destroyed. Hey, that's that's worthy of thanks, man. Because his mercy endured forever. That's why we opened up with that Psalms, uh, 118, saying, "Give thanks to the give thanks to the Lord for his mercy endured forever, man." All right. It says, um, "Even as the testimony of Yahweh Shai was confirmed in you, meaning because we believe, man. All right, because because our faith is invested in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai." That's why uh, that testimony of Yahweh Shai is confirmed. All right. That's where it's confirmed. It's confirmed in them that actually uh, truly believe. OK. And that act upon that belief, man, because you got some people that believe, but they're scared to they're scared to act upon it, you know, which don't make no sense. All right. If you believe in this word, then, then do as the scriptures command, man. Get out there and teach the people, you know, and, and, and stop all those bad habits, man. Cut that cut that uh, nonsense out. Uh, let's jump to the book of 2 Corinthians now. 2 Corinthians, I passed it. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, mm, right here towards the end of the verse, or the end of the chapter. All right, it says, uh, verse 13, We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken, we also believe and therefore speak. That's why we go out there and we teach because we believe. Okay. We're confirming our belief, man. All right. 
We're trying to store up those riches in, in heaven. It says, knowing that he uh, which raised up the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall raise us up also by Yahweh Shai and shall present us with you. Okay? So, Lord willing, we're able to be presented, you know, as, as the elect and be able to serve underneath Yahweh Shai, alongside Yahweh Shai, all right, in the kingdom of heaven. It says, for all these things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many abound to the glory of the Most High. For which cause we faint not, but uh, but though our outward, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. So even though we're stuck in these fleshly carnal bodies, the inward man shall be renewed, man. Okay, why? Because because that abundant grace <laughs> uh, through thanksgiving can uh, 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 redound the glory of the Most High, as it says in verse 15. It says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and external weight of glory, while we look not at these things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal, man. So our, our mindset is all focused upon the kingdom of heaven, all right, the kingdom to come. I mean, we're, we're watching this stuff that's going on right now, but we know this is all temporal, man. All right, we're not we're not here in fear because the Most High didn't give us a spirit of fear, all right. But He gave us a sound mind and power, man. All right, so we're sitting here and we're waiting for these certain uh, events to take place, as the prophecy said that they would. All knowing that the end result is going to be the kingdom of heaven established on earth. All right. And that's what that's what we are patiently waiting for, man. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, that was I mean, that's pretty much the point. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to drag it out too much further. You know, there's plenty of scriptures. There's a million scriptures in here that that speaks about giving thanks to the heavenly father. You know, giving thanks to Yahweh Shai. So just remember to do that as you pray, as you think about um, any type of good gifts. If you go to the book and to the Apocrypha, matter of fact, if you go to the Apocrypha and you look at the uh, Song of the Three Holy Children, man, all they was doing the whole time was uh, giving thanks, man. Giving thanks to the Heavenly Father, man. Was Is that the prayer of Azariah? Yeah, so it's the three holy children when they was in the, the midst of the fire, man. As it says right here in verse 1, it says, And they walked in the midst of the fire, praising the Most High and blessing the Lord. All right? And if you read this, this is a very good a very good chapter, man. If you haven't read it lately, uh, go back and read it, Bubba Kasha. Because what it does is it gives, hey, man, it puts you in that right mindset uh, of praising the Heavenly Father, man. All right? Especially when you get right here to verse 29 all the way down, saying, bless, bless be the most high. And they're, they're just thanking and blessing the most high, man. And naming off every everything they can think of and, and blessing the most high, man. All right? Because, you know, you're supposed to be exalting him. And as I said, as we said, read in verse uh, in, in Psalms the 118, Yahweh Shai, or not Yahweh Shai, Salaki, the most high power of Yahweh, his mercy endured forever, man, towards the elect. All right? Which which is a beautiful thing, man. Very much worthy of praise. But like I said, Lord willing, the uh, the message received was received, and Lord willingness was edifying, man. All right. So until next time, I'll say shalom.